market update here on the 5th so we are still in this range and not much has changed I'll go over these moves on lower time frames but you can see I drew a parallel line here it stayed within that parallel line the whole time so that's interesting and then you clone it up here we stayed be below it except for this little spike right here and came right back down so I think that's pretty corrective overall that shows a pretty corrective move for that reason I would lean I mean I'm not gonna lean either way to be honest I'm pretty 50 50 I could see them just taking this like slowly down here too but if we're gonna go higher then that means this whole move is a B C and then this right here is also a a B C on lower time frames you can see it better so a basically um, ABC down here to the bottom and it's also possible so either ABC right here and we can go higher the bottom right here 379 and this is at 375 basically four points higher than this is around 390 so the whole move would look like a B and then C wave up here so that's one possibility second possibility is that this is only a it's a nest it doesn't matter if it's a nested five wave move it could be a b c and then this is a b c b and then we're beginning a five wave move down like that so a b c lower maybe to like 374 and that would put this whole entire move as a B and then a C wave up here probably wouldn't break above 387 so that's possible too and the most bearish possibility is that we topped right here and this was a B C stays within the parallel lines and then we get a nested five wave move it would look like one two three four five but five is gonna be down here this would have to be an extended fifth wave so you'd be looking at it like one two three four five still would probably go down to 374 and uh we would bounce and then we would go even more lower so it's kind of the same structure as abc but it's just extended fifth wave and then we'd get a bounce that would be corrective the corrective bounce would be something like that and then we would go lower after that if it is ABC then we would expect it to go higher after that like five wave move so you can see there's so many different possibilities impossible to say which way it's gonna go but um, so far since it's in between the parallel lines I'm leaning corrective overall so I would say it's less likely that this is a five wave move now. I would expect another move higher to probably 390 and probably the 50 and the 20 day moving average on the daily time frame. But I'm still holding my puts in case I'm in case it keeps on trickling down here. Tesla, um, same thing. I'm looking at this as A, B, looking for a C wave higher. Maybe it won't go as high as I thought yesterday, um, but it's going to come close. I, I would think maybe 117 to 120. Parallel lines are saying 107 and 104, it's about 250 higher, so maybe 117 maybe on Friday at 117 so we'll see if that is correct and if it goes to 117 on Friday I would expect that to be the fourth wave but then again I did draw this right here and um, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets outside of this parallel line for a fourth wave as well at 120 so that would be on the sixth as well so basically Tesla is showing a bounce I think that bodes well for spy going higher um, the dollar is bouncing as well 
Not sure if it's going to be an impulsive move or are we going to get this? Or maybe even lower than that. I think it's going to start a five-way move. We don't know yet. Um, let's see here. Apple and QQQ. And I'll probably leave it at that, to be honest. There isn't that much else to go over. Um, Apple, I'm still looking for a bounce. To minimum, probably 132 to 137. Apple is going to be key for SPY to bounce. So look for a bounce in Apple here soon. And QQQ. QQQ looks really bearish to me because it's below demand. And if you look over here on the chart, on the... For weekly demand, the last demand zone is like right around 260. It does have this wick right here at 255. But um, if it gets below 260, then that's going to be pretty bearish. And when it finally does eventually get below here, it's going to come all the way back. Probably going to go, I would say, just based on demand zones. I don't think it's going to go all the way down here. But um, my original target was 225 to 204, but it could come all the way down here to 182. That's how bearish it is right now. That would be right in this demand zone for the weekly. So same pattern on, on SPY and QQQ, it's ABC, and we'll see if we get a bounce in QQQ. I would just look for a bounce to low 270s if, if that does happen. So up here to like 270, maybe all the way up here to 272 and this supply zone. So a pretty short video, but I just wanted to highlight SPY the most likely scenarios. Got three scenarios, two of them are overall bullish short term and one is bear short term we will wait another day for to get out of this range we don't know if it's going to be all of 2023 so far we've been in this range since the 22nd getting kind of boring but that's what happens you got to be patient for these moves and we'll see what happens tomorrow maybe tomorrow is the day we break out one way or the other um so that's it Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Did you trade today? Again, I didn't trade very much at all. I'm just like delta hedging my portfolio pretty much. Just keeping it um, in the delta range that I think is best for the move. And right now that's slightly positive. But if we go down, I still want to be able to catch some of the uh, downside. So that's it. Leave me a comment. I'll talk to you soon. I'll do an update tomorrow.